So what if the Mediterranean Sea was in North America? This is one of the more cursed maps in EU4. I don't know. I've seen a lot of cursed maps, but this is definitely up there. I love how the Black Sea is included and we have all of the natives here before the Western Hemisphere is colonized. But this is just, I don't even know how to uh, describe this cancer. This is just cancer. I really don't even have words. I think it's, I think that's the problem. I don't have words for this side of the world, but I do like this. Great Lakes. I can't believe they brought, that actually, I've, I've been like, I load the game for a little bit. I play the game before I start one of these AI games. I had no idea, like Michigan is basically here. So, you know, they they, they kind of have a, a, a separate, they got like four Black Seas instead of one big one. I think four is better than one. There is no Italy, but all of these Italian nations got way thicker. So maybe there's a chance, actually, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, gross things happening and I don't know if anyone's really gonna be able to come out on top because it's just, how do you at this point? Aragon looks like they're gonna whoop Castile, but you never know. I don't even know if it's worth colonizing the Western Hemisphere anymore. There's a whole lot less land. I mean, maybe go after South America, but I don't know. I don't think I want that. These natives are now the new Roman natives. They're the new American uh, Romans. Let's see if they can actually expand like the Romans. I doubt it. When did France get... Uh, like bumps all over their face. I don't know when that happens. I've done a video with no Mediterranean Sea and I've done a video with at least just the Mediterranean in North America, but never both at the same time and never during this time period. I think that that's why this is so much worse than ever before because <laughs> the map is already really bad. Do the Ottomans become the Great Lake Empire? Because they can easily wrap, oh, well there goes Kandar. Now just get Crimea and everything up this way and you're good, Lithuania. I don't think the Ottomans are gonna be quite as powerful in this game. Without the sea, I think, and they're almost, they're basically landlocked. I really don't know, like will the people that that border the Mediterranean do better or worse? Because even the people that are next to the Atlantic Ocean, do you even want this? There's not that much stuff over here anymore. And Scotland is almost dead already. Oh, there goes Ireland. Look at that Vietnamese nation right there. I'm liking that sexy Vietnam. I'm just thinking this is just gonna be a game where India wins, or maybe Ming, maybe Ming won't explode. I, I do think that without the massive inland sea, this is probably gonna make things worse for everybody. Just the natives would take over. I think that could be a thing too. And already we have Castilian West Indies. They're the first to make it to the Western Hemisphere, I guess. Or Portugal, I don't know, it's one of those two, doesn't matter. Portugal's probably the smart one here. Maybe you do want to just stay in South America. It looks like we're gonna have a thick Burgundy on our hands because they are crushing France, at least for now. <sighs> Oh, look at the Pope. The Pope's got two lands, two different separated lands, and uh, and he's doing good. Let's see if he keeps both of them. I doubt it, but let's see. Venice is basically useless now. How does Venice even work anymore? Oh, is this going to be super easy for the Europeans to just come down and dominate Africa? Like, you know, Africa kind of is protected. Now there's not a whole lot of protection. Aragon's already right there. Well, the Mamluks actually will probably be strong. You know them. They love Australia. They're going to go colonize Australia. That will be the one thing forever. No matter how cursed the world is, we're always going to have some mummies in Australia. I like these Turkish Native Americans. They look like they can have a lot of fun. They're all next to each other. They're also changing their borders a lot. How is Kilwa always, like, doing this? They're always, like, colonizing like this. I guess it does affect England, but not yet. I think it's too early for the Mediterranean to affect England. Is England even going to colonize? What's going on, guys? Uh, Castile's already here in Mexico and Texas, mainly like the Deep South. They got here fast. Oh, they're already over here. All right, where is everybody else? Norway's here. We got the Vikings real excited. Portugal, I think, is doing the smart thing, just staying down in the South. Portuguese Brazil has just popped up. Japan is somewhat unified, but there is this Yama, Yam, and uh, Yam and uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, that. It's kind of weird to see Japan here, but not with everything. That's not, I'm not used to that. Usually it just stays separated. Japan doesn't show up uh, like many times. Ming's not exploding, by the way. Ming is going to be there. I think Ming should have already exploded by now since they didn't. They're going to be, they're going to be thick. Portugal's having problems with Morocco and Castile. I think Morocco might have taken they, they took the southern half and then Castile took this. I don't know. This is not looking good, though. Portugal is just going to have to chill in Brazil. Here comes France. France. French Colombia. French Colombia. Oh, Portugal's in uh, La Plata, too. I don't know. This big blue blob looks pretty pathetic. Surprisingly, the HRE didn't get any, like, cooler or anything like that. I thought, you know, there's a chance. Maybe. I guess. I don't know why. But I'm, I don't know. Maybe they could have had more of this new southern land. This is with the new update, by the way. So there's a lot of little nations that I'm not used to seeing. Something clearly really bad happened to England. I don't know how Cornwall got released. And Scotland has more territory than before. Yeah, we got an independent Iceland. Let's go, Iceland. Get over there. You can get over there. Just kind of dodge away around Norway and you're good. Okay, it's really just going to be Spain. Spain's the only one that cares about North American Mediterranean Sea. North American Sea. How would we even call that? The Mediterranean American Sea. Clearly the Aztecs are not taking any sort of uh, new bonuses for this being here. The Navajo look pretty good though. The Aztecs are still around for now. There is a way to get through the Atlantic side and into the Mediterranean. Like right here. Florida. Of course, Florida controls the pass. Oh no. Oh, Florida and then zoom in Illinois. 
What? I live in the state of Illinois, Florida. Country's Florida. The state is Illinois. I'm so afraid for this world. I don't think they're prepared for Florida yet. So they're, Spain is even in South Africa. So uh, something bad I think is happening to the British. I don't know why they're not doing anything. Two Sicilies controlling the old Italian peninsula. There's no Italian peninsula, but you know what I'm saying. I like how that came out of nowhere. The Pope still controls both of his lands. France is looking even more disgusting. Burgundy's giving them some... What is it? Burgundian Western Europe. Burgundian Western Europe. That's a crazy name. Oh, they lost that title. Yeah, let's go, Swiss. Observer gang. Gotta root for my boys. Hamburg looking good. Sweden has pretty much unified the Nordic lands, except for this one little part. Oh, Muscovy sucks. It's not a good game for Muscovy. Kazan. Oh, these hordes are messing them up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Be careful, Tibet. Be careful. Don't, don't get too big. I don't want to see it happen again. Korea, no! No, Korea! You gotta watch that dong. That's the problem. Kiwa is united their Madagascar island to the stuff they controlled in continental Africa. The British do not wish to play this game, I guess. Is that them? Nope, that is Burgundy in Canada. Never thought I'd see that. That's kind of beautiful. Then there's Brittany over here. Brittany's, oh, Brittany's gonna get kicked out by somebody though, unfortunately. France has almost lost French Columbia. I mean, they're, they're still vaguely there. What, what, what is this? Where'd you guys come from? Something bad happened to Portuguese La Plata. Castilian Louisiana. That's a weird Louisiana, but you know what? That's fine. Northern Italian Castilian Louisiana, something like that. That's their name. You guys are here too? Oh boy, Florida. Watch it, Florida. Florida might get this part of their land kicked out. Not gonna lie, this is kind of beautiful. But Spain will probably end up dominating North America. This is not enough. Oh, Brittany's gone. Dang it, Brittany. I think Brittany's here, actually. But yeah, I don't know what happened to England. I just really want to know what happened to England. They never formed the British, so they have just been just chilling. They, they're now locked out. They can't get anything. This is kind of a weak Ottoman campaign. They haven't done anything at all. Mamluks, I guess they've done a little bit. Algiers is giving Aragon some trouble. Obviously, there has not been any sort of... Uh, Wedding, Iberian wedding. Portugal got their southern land back from Morocco. Yeah, Castile could be easily number one. Oh, Great Britain did form now. Uh, but I don't know anymore. Castile's strong, but they didn't end up getting like Iberia. There is no Iberia. What am I talking about? I guess Iberia is just a land formation. It's not a, a peninsula anymore. What is happening to the Portuguese? All the colonies down here. Boom! Independent Cuba. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Fidel. What? What? What is going on in this game? There are some weird nations. I think the natives are doing pretty good. The Aztecs are still kind of here, right? There are some Aztecs, but uh, some of these independent colonies might mess that up. Yeah, they're going after... S I love this Cuba. I love this Cuba so much. France is trying to keep Colombia alive, but it's unlikely they keep that going. Wow. Okay, so France can't even get to their colonies anymore. They have been completely shut out. Austria and France. Well, there is still an Austria, and now they have Austria and France, so there you go. That's a beautiful Burgundy. I really like that Burgundy. What is that? I've never heard, I've never seen that nation before. That's gotta be new. Belco Zero. Belco Zero. This looks like just a custom nation that got popped in. Hey, Timmy's still going. Timmy's going. Probably head-to-head -head against Persia. India hasn't really unified, but there's, you know, maybe three Three powers here. Ooh, Delian Hindustan. That's kind of rare. Korea's got their Korean back. Their Dong, well, not all of it back, but you know. Japan ain't even moving. D Japan does have Taiwan, though. I like that. I don't know how they got that. Here comes Castile for the Philippines. And yeah, it's just Castile out there. I mean, France is doing a little bit, but they're going to lose that stuff. The British did do some colonization. It's just like this island, probably a couple. You know how they love random islands. They had to keep that up. That's actually the only thing. They, they saw the Mediterranean here, and they were just like, you know what? <laughs> We don't want this anymore. Independent Alaska. Let's go. Independent Alaska and a Cuba. Okay, so Castile lost like all their colonies. They had a lot of colonies, so it, it makes sense they couldn't keep up. Pima is a native empire. They are getting very close. They have the native technology group. And they have been kicking Castile out of Mexico just one by one province. Yeah, Cuba. I am loving this Cuba. I'm not going to lie. Look at that Cuba. Cuban, Cuban, Colombia. Cuban, Colombia. Why did I say Cuban? There we go. Louisiana is still going. That's Scotland, by the way. Those colors are the same, but that is Scotland. Look at that beautiful blue Ireland. It's almost united. And then the Isles. So Scotland is just in Canadian North America. And then the Isles are here in Scotland. Aragon is starting to push into Re revolutionary Castile. That explains why they lost so much. Ah. Ottomans are doing a little bit better. The Ottomans are doing a little bit better. So Poland is gone or almost gone. Poland's doing that thing. Riga is uh, looking pretty good in the Baltic area. I like this Livonian order too. The hordes have won over modern day Russia. They are going to stay here. Actually, Ming is going to keep on going up towards Siberia. Ming is going to win this game, I think. The only thing the Castilians still have control over is like Oceania. So at least they got that going for them. Else, Kilwa is going to be kicking out Castilian South Africa, it looks like. Dang, they're completely sieged out. Nadongo, let's go. I'm liking this Rwanda. Oh, I've not seen these guys here before either. Hey, HRE getting a little bigger, a little bigger with these guys kind of moving down this way. It's funny how like if I like your color, I'm automatically going to be for them. Like, I kind of want to root for these guys. Never seen them before, but I'm a new fan. Such a bandwagon nation rooter.
person. I stand them though. I stand them. I can't believe I said that unironically. Let's go, Navajo. Let's go. I'm rooting for the natives, honestly. Let's kick them all out. Floridian Great Lakes. I don't know what Great Lakes you're talking about. This is an inland sea, Florida. Someone needs to tell Florida this is an inland sea. Ah, uh, yes. The Ottomans surrounded Lake Michigan and they are going after more of Lake Superior. And I guess since the British have just given up, they decided not even to go after India. They're not even taking chunks out of India. Somehow even the natives in South America that shouldn't really be affected, they're also doing pretty good. At least they were. They were giving the Portuguese colonies a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, they're getting a lot of help from the natives. It's rare that we ever see Burgundy colonized, so I really like this game so far. Oh wait, Burgundy formed France, didn't they? Yes. Oh my goodness. We have Burgundian formed France. Dang, this is not a fun, this is not fun to be Castile. So not only did they just get out of a massive war with Aragon and Algiers, but they're getting messed up by rebels. I don't see how they're keeping Australia or New Zealand. Ming is doing good. Uh, Ming is doing really good. I, I thought that, I forgot that they have all these tributaries and uh, they are looking pretty big too. I'm sorry, uh, Taiwan. This is Great Britain. I don't know if Japan actually controlled you. Uh, Great Britain might lose this, though. Ming is coming after him. Gotta love this Sweden. I gotta love this Sweden. I hope they hold on to everything. Please. Or go get some colonies or something. Oh, isn't that old Scotland, right? Isn't that their name? Ah, uh, yes. Mexican culture everywhere. Dominates Alaska, Florida, this southern part. A little bit of Portuguese in there, a little bit. Up here, we've got Burgundian. There is some American because the Scotland, the Scottish colonized here, the Scotland. Yeah, the Scotland, that's fine. They're the Scotland now. Oh, yeah, we still got some native culture here, Pawnee. Dakota. Aztec still in. They're still surviving. I think they're going to be okay too. Portuguese slash Brazilian culture is taking over here. A little bit of French up this way and Burgundian. Got excited. I was like, who got Hawaii? Of course. I'm not even surprised. Almost missed this beauty. We have an Icelandic colony. Iceland made Vinland. That is incredible. I'm having a lot of things that I see in this game that are making me pretty excited. I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue this video, at least with uh, dry pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's right. Norman Britain. Normandy got released or something. It must be the rebellions. What? Norman Britain? Let's go. Vikings are back. Kind of. I don't know if it's the same, but you know, they're back. Well, Burgundian France was forced to release the United States and Canada. So now we have a Burgundian French United States, like American culture, Canadian culture thing, <laughs> something like that. And if you think about it, it's over the Black Sea. So like, is this Russia, Russian America, modern day Russian America? I don't know. Damn, Alaska, cool it. Cool it. It just gets tougher for the British as they've lost Taiwan. Ming got that back. Ming's gonna win this game. But who will get second? I don't even know if it's gonna be Castile, because Castile don't look that good. Here's the thing. I don't really want Alaska to, like, hurt Navajo, though. Oh, I think the Navajo... Oh, some something bad's gonna happen. Please leave him alone. Please leave him alone. Or Pima, too. I like the Pimas here. Austria is now a coastal nation. Yep, that's right. Austria is a coastal nation. And they might get even more stuff from France. France is not having a good time. What the hell is that? What is that? The Americans somehow grab this it's almost like a canal i don't even know what this is imagine if there was like a river connecting it why did the u.s take just that specifically so they have now caused for florida floridian mississippi to form oh i don't know what this game's all about and there's castilian canada but that just got uh messed up i like it pawnee is basically the naples of this world Ooh, i'm liking this molly look at that coastal molly since they're oh the europeans didn't do anything with the ivory coast they don't have a single thing out here oh th there's just this and then whatever that is that might end up going to somebody else there's been a strange Strange game. And then India is still fine too. No Europeans out this way. Maybe Ming is shutting them out. Yeah, Ming is definitely having like so a little bit of an impact. Probably a lot of an impact. Sorry. Just leave them alone, Ming. You just leave them alone. You're being good so far. Can't have it happen again. Tondu now reaching over. I like this Filipino empire. Keep going, Iceland, baby. Keep going. Let's go. Oh, they did lose Vinland though. That's kind of sad. Damn it, Canada. Ruining the fun. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay. Norman, Britain. It's starting to get out of control. Britain is going to be lucky to survive by the end of this. Oh no, buddy. That doesn't look too good. Florida's doing some damage, so is Canada. The U.S. might be lucky to survive, too. I, I guess Castile got a little jealous of what the U.S. had. They got their own little, like, thing connecting land water masses. Wait, that's, that's Scotland. Why do I keep mixing them up? Let's go, Navajo. I don't even know who I want. I like both sides. I don't really want Alaska or Navajo to win. Take it out on these other guys. We see them all the time. Not only have they stayed revolutionary, but Sweden now has Swedish Russia. So Russia is... Kind of in this game. Livonian order looks amazing. There is no Polish nation. There's a Lithuania, kind of. Austria took a big old chunk out of France. Uh, unfortunately, Normandy's gone, but that was amazing. We did get something kind of 
pretty much the same in terms of coolness. Ireland. Ireland got Cornwall in this part of Scotland. Munster is here too. How the hell? Did... So I don't know. The Irish were just taking chunks out of England. There was never really too many epic battles between Aragon and the Ottomans. Or the Mamluks could have been involved too. Castile survived and so did Portugal. Revolutionary Sweden has been a thing for a while, but they didn't do much else. And Castilian South Africa has constantly been sieged out by rebels. It was just rebellion city. Yeah, we did have Australia. So we do have a Castilian Australia. Both of them got their independence. Australian Oceania. Japan decided not to play the game and Ming probably won. Like I said, very weird North America. Like kind of, uh, kind of the weirdest North America we've ever seen. Love that the Navajo and Pima survived. Love the Cuba. And then we have disgusting border gore down here this late into the game and have this bad of border gore that's not good i kind of thinking i should off myself cuba eighth place that's nice to see cuba in eighth place then we got france persia aragon uh vagina gar oh yeah india up there the mamluks the ottomans and ming so almost no european power except for aragon in fifth and france in seventh weirdly no no north american power this hurt both sides i think it hurt both continents maybe we should actually think about pulling a patrick star and just taking the mediterranean and push it somewhere else We'll see. I think it might be a good idea. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to the Patreon supporters. Knock, knock. Who's there? Make a, make a who? Make a Discord snowflake. Imagine carrying a baby for nine months. Just to name him Drew. Worry Giggling. Deezer123. Mike. Stormtrooper501. Max. Luxembourg Lover. Ralphie Tree. Ben Dover. Some guy from Iceland. Joe Dover. Splendid Savage. Popcorn2008. Douchebag. Rat Smacker3000. I'm the real 06. Arian After Hours. Ben Kolofsky. Riley Yates. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Bowling Likes Tyler Beach. Polofsky. Glovin. Maxi G. Elijah Senpai. And LPC.